Ooh, I went to take the trash out and look what I found. Free memorabilia. Free memorabilia? What's up? Good morning. Uh, today we are dockside. So I get to go be a gangway watch. I much prefer gangway watch than watch standing because gangway watch, I get to be outside. Fresh air, just hang out, listen to podcasts for eight hours of the day. It's much better than being a watch stander on the bridge. So I'm gonna start my day off. I got two hours of OT in the morning, two hours at night. I gotta do some sleeping and mopping for the first two hours. And then at 7.45, I'm gonna go to my gangway watch. I'll get off at, or I'll get relieved at 3.45 for my last two hours of OT, and that will be the end of my day. I, I wanted to share my gangway watch because it's something I actually enjoy doing. So uh, here we go. First off, we got a sweet. All right, I just relieved the guy, so I'm officially on gangway watch. Well, this is it, right here. I just sit here. Check people in, check people out. Pretty much it. So this is gonna go on for a while and I'm not gonna videotape all of it. It is gonna be eight hours of sitting here. I'm using my phone to listen to podcasts. So we'll see what happens. I'm only 45 minutes into this gangway watch. I'm listening to a podcast called Case File. I've been I mostly listen to like financial things. 
personal finance is kind of a hobby of mine, but I wanted to listen to something that my lady listened to, and uh, I just had to stop for a minute because I clicked on one, and it just so happens this lady that the story is about was a bank teller or something literally in my exact county. That's kind of mind blowing, but I don't know what happened yet. The assumption was that she slipped and fell, went into some kind of coma, and then passed away midday. But I'm very interested. I'm gonna get back to the story. All right, first coffee break, and then uh, I'll go right back to it. It's pretty convenient. I get a coffee break, 15 minute coffee break, then work another hour and a half, lunch break, work two hours, coffee break, work an hour and a half. Back from break actually been back for a little bit i finished that little podcast story this story was very interesting like i said it took place in my area <coughs> they lived in auburn where the story was it involved a lady named susan and a married couple stella and bruce now this stella what she did was she had a husband was a recovering alcoholic and became sober. Well, she became very bored with his sober life. And she knew that he had a twenty-five dollars to $35,000 insurance thing if he had passed away that she would claim. Well, she went out, forged a document for $100,000 if it was claimed to be an accidental death. So... What she did was she put cyanide in some over-the-counter pain reliever medication. And then she gave it to him. He ended up passing away from the cyanide poisoning. But due to the autopsy, they claimed that it was a... Uh, come down on the hook a little bit. Radio. They, they claimed that it wasn't an accident. It was due to his previous years of smoking and alcohol. Okay, come on up. So she was only due to get the twenty-five to thirty-five thousand from the insurance, but she wanted the hundred thousand. So what she did was she filled up other over-the-counter pain reliever medications with cyanide and distributed it around stores in Auburn. Basically, she waited for someone else to get it, take it, and then another autopsy report so she could relate her husband's, her late husband's death to this new death, and then it would be considered accidental. So basically, she was just really greedy, and so greedy that she was willing to risk, I think she did a total of five bottles in different stores. She was willing to risk five different people's lives just so her husband's death would look accidental. What a messed up lady, you know? If, if she would have just been happy with the, the $25,000, dollars from the insurance, she would have never got caught. She went out of her way, called the FBI after Susan's death. She called the FBI and said, I think my husband also died the same way. And so she basically put herself under the microscope just so her, her husband's death would be seen as accidental and she could get $125,000 for it. I think they said it's only like 12% of the population can actually smell the almond-like odor that cyanide gives off. I think that's what the podcast said. And it just so happened that during the autopsy of Susan, one of the uh, medical examiners was one of the 12% that smelled the odor and had done a case like it before with cyanide. So she smelled the odor and they ended up testing for the cause of Susan's death and realized it was cyanide. So it was just by convenience that there was so happened to be an examiner that was one of the 12% of the population that can smell cyanide's odor of almonds, I guess. And so, that was caught. And then, yeah, 
So that was the story, guys. I think I have another hour until my lunch break. And then, yeah, I'll do another four hours of this gangway watch. Sitting here. The weather ain't bad. I ain't complaining. It's better than being on the bridge. And it's better than what the other guys are doing. Which is currently throwing all the trash that we have into the dumpster. Because uh, rarely do we get dockside. I actually would like to be a part of it. It'd be fun. But gangway watch is so easy. But uh, yeah, back to it. I'm going to go to some more podcasts. Keep watching, guys. What's up, what's up? I've been relieved. So this is the start of my last two hours of OT. I believe we're just collecting garbage out of the the four peak or four foxel foxel four peak. So I think that's gonna be the rest of my day. Ooh. Yeah. Instead of throwing trash away. I did some dumpster diving for some little pallets. JD, if you watch this video later, stop staring at me like a creep, man. So, uh, I just sweeped. Whoa, that got close. That's what the pallets were for. That's what I went dumpster diving for. And then he had me sweep basically that area and the outside area. But uh yeah, now I'm going on dinner. Pretty sweet. Then I'll come back, do another like 30 minutes of work, and then I'm off. That'll be my day. Pretty easy day, huh? Alright, I'll get back to you guys in a minute, alright? End of my day, that's it guys. So, if you guys are interested in becoming an AB, most of the time you'll be watch standing. But when you do get dockside or on the pier or whatever, if you're doing cargo or something, typically you'll have a gangway watch. Uh, but uh, these days are awesome. Cause like I said, I think I said it in the very beginning, being a watchstander sucks. Like the easiest thing about being an AB is actually the hardest thing, mentally. Physically, no problem, but mentally, being up on the bridge, watchstanding, if there's no music going on, no nothing, which, my watch is with uh, the chief mate, and the last chief mate was like old school dude, complete silence. So I'd have like four hours straight of complete silence. No coffee breaks at all. You just stand up there, you point out contacts or objects in the water, ships in the water, and it's, it's really boring. Especially with him where, you know, he would say, don't point out anything that isn't like a fishing boat or something small. because typically anything big comes up on radar so out in the open ocean you're not seeing a whole bunch of fishing boats really so I never really pointed out anything I just sat up there I didn't even sit I had to stand up there so yeah stand up there for four hours straight I'm on the gangway you know different crew members walk by so you get to talk with them a little bit and then when they're not walking by, you get to listen to podcasts or the radio, music, whatever you want to do. Right now, since this trip, I actually got into podcasts, so I'm going deep into podcasts. Um, the first one I got into, like I said, was a personal finance one called Listen Money Matters. And I'm pretty sure I listened to just about every single episode they had within a month. Yeah. Maybe like skipped a few that I really had no interest in, but most of them were just, they're, you know, they're interesting to listen to. Um, I think I got off topic from where I was originally thinking of starting the outro of this. 
AB life, guys. It's super easy. That's why I like this ship. You know, it's a pre post ship where typically it's not constantly loading and unloading cargo. So most of the time it's maintenance. So most of the days that we're anchored somewhere, I don't really have a watch because I'm the day watch. They just have me actually doing actual manual labor, which I enjoy it. But I also really enjoy the gangway watch. Watch standing on the bridge, really, really boring guys. So just heads up if you do go deck. It's very easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, and uh, share my videos if you want. Thanks.